about in this announcement. Okay. You should have at least waited for it to cool down. Oh, but you know now, you know me, I like it hot hot, you know? But don't tell me you're not thinking what I'm thinking. I am not thinking about what you're thinking. Okay, you don't bug your head. I'll think for the two of us. Okay, cool. Uh, great, so we'll, we'll talk after work, okay? <laughs> oh, well, excuse me. <laughs> right. Sophie, you're not here yet. Look, you need to hurry down to the house. You need to see what I got both of us. You will be blown away. I mean, <laughs> we'll put on this outfit and we step into narrow partners. Everybody at the office will bow because we'll be looking smashing and hot. So please hurry down. Thank you. There's no need to come into your house because I'm already on my way to the office. No, 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 Sophie, come on, you know the drill? You can't do that, you can't change at the office. Come to the house and you stop, Joe. I'm already dressed, Ken, and... I, I don't understand, what do you mean you're already dressed? Would you please meet me up at the office and let's not argue over this? Sophie? Sophie? She just tried to call on me. What is she up to? Where have you been? Uh, been busy with a thing or two. Yeah, just gotcha. We've been expecting to see you guys since. Uh. Best couple. Hmm? Yeah, um, have you seen her around today? Who? Sophie? Sophie, yeah. Sophie said you guys were on your way to this place. So how come you're asking me a word about? Well, she said the same thing to me. I'm surprised that she's not here yet. Um, it's okay, I'll, I'll speak to you later. Why is she not here? And how long does it really take to get to the office? shirt with his name inscribed on it? Really? What is wrong with you? What is this? Be why are you shouting? I don't understand. What right do you have to monitor or control me as if I'm a child? Eh? Listen, I am a grown ass woman and I will do exactly what I want to do. It's not like I'm your girlfriend or your wife. I don't owe you anything. Listen, I am on this game with Donald. So pick another lady that is free and pair up with her. Okay? Besides, it's a game. And it's better, it makes it unpredictable. Look, I, I totally understand you. But I can't stand seeing you with him. I can't stand you with Donald. I mean, you know what? I'm out of the game. You are out of the game. You are out of the game.
Keep drinking this now. It's okay. Cheryl, hmm? brighten up. Ken, we can't afford to miss this boat cruise. Oh, no. Not the boat cruise. Uh, I can't attend that party. I won't. I don't want. Anything that's going to bring me close to Sophie. <laughs> Especially now, you know, seeing her with someone else. No, I can't. Listen, if you want to do anything, anything at, at all, name it where you want to go to, make it happen, but not the, not the boat cruise. <laughs> um. It's okay. I... I'm serious. Yeah. Come on. Come okay. on. Stand off. <laughs> I can't help myself. Let's go. Why are you smiling? Shouldn't I smile? No, I never knew you were this scary. <laughs> Let me see. It tastes really good. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Your boyfriend must really be a lucky man. Oh my god. <laughs> Just as Sophie. I don't want us to take um, necessary advantage of this situation. I don't want us to hurt ourselves at the end. I don't, know. I don't think this feeling is real.
Okay. Sophie. Hey, Sophie. Sophie. Steve, you're here this early. Hi, honey. I know you didn't spend the night here. Where are you coming from? I don't understand. What kind of person is that? I know you lost. Which man did you spend the night with? Get your hands off me. You don't have such right over me. The last time I checked, Stephen Bernard is not ready to settle down now. And I am a Williams. I am going to say yes to any prospective suitor. Why are you aggrieved? Are you mad? Why are you aggrieved? Is it me you're going talking to? I'm to spend a night with a man like you concluded. How dare you talk to me like that? No. Beat me, Steven. Go ahead and punch me. Beat me. That is what you're good at. Where did you spend the night? You don't have such rights over me. Just like I don't have same over you. And until I see a ring on this finger, don't you ever come here to create unnecessary sin or try to raise your hands on me. Because if you do, I will make sure I press charges against you.
weiß so viel. Really? So why wasn't I there if she's not with a man? Well, she didn't explain it to me that way. Sophia. What are we celebrating? Um, our love. Our love. Yes, what sir. are you talking about? Sophie, please marry me. Hmm? Yeah. Please. Please stand up. I don't understand. How can you propose to me? How? What, what is that supposed to mean? What, why can't I propose to you? Everything is wrong with you proposing to me. Can, can I'm not like a sister to you. You are not my sister. You're not related by blood in any way. Okay, fine. But I'm like your sister, Ken. And that's why I can't have anything intimate with you. Tell me, why have I been trying all these years to prove to everyone at work that we don't have anything intimate? 
Listen, you and I grew up under the same roof, under the same parents. And besides, I see you as a brother. That doesn't make us relatives, not blood relatives. That doesn't stop us from getting married. You said it yourself, you've been trying to prove to everyone we have nothing. Definitely they've seen something and that's why they keep saying we're in love with each other. Both our parents have said countless times that we would one day grow up and get married. So tell me, is there someone, is there someone you're, you're trying to keep this from? Listen Ken, I want you to know that I have never ever thought about, oh, imagine you being my husband. Sophie, is, is that why you did what you did yesterday? Just a few hours with him and you've completely Forgotten what you feel for me? Ken, no, I... You know what? It's, it's fine. The picture is clearer to me now. If you don't need to say anything, I, I understand you now. And thank you for sending Annie my way. Thank you for ruining my day. Thank you for letting me waste all these years with you. Hey, Shiga. Listen, Donna, this is not the time for silly jokes. Where are you? Is there a problem? Where are you? I'm at home. Listen, there's a problem. I need you to come meet me at Mall 9. Right now. Do you understand? I, I should leave. Hello? Open this door. Don't. Open this door now. Can you tell me what's up between you and Ken? He's here already. So can you tell me what the f what the hell is going on? Hello? Can you imagine? Can you? Wait. Why, why will I be running away from Ken? My fellow man? I absolutely have nothing to do. You know. Oh. 
Where is he? Where is he? Problem. What exactly is Ken's problem? Listen, it's a long story. I'll tell you later. Just try and stay away from him today. Do you understand? What's the knife for? Jeez. Come to thank you especially for ruining a relationship that I literally spent my entire life building. And also to inform you that you've earned yourself a new enemy and that I will never forgive you. It's no use trying to run, Donald. Because I'll stick around you like glue. So you know what it feels like to have an enemy close. It's your nerve showing up in my house to blame me about your failed relationship, okay? I think you should go and deal with your problems in your relationship and stop blaming people for your inability to control it. You shut up. Shut up and stop defending your silly self. I think you are sick in the head. Get out of my house. Now. I'll find out who's sick in the head pretty soon. Get out. Get out. Hi, Donald. Listen, Sophia, I am tired and fed up of this whole squabble going on between you and Ken. How does this concern me in the first place that Ken will go about threatening and saying all sorts of things about me? He left my apartment this morning, making his usual indirect threat. Donald, please. No, no, Sophia, you please. One can to desist from damaging and saying all sorts of things about my name. He is pushing me way too hard. And if I snap... D Donald, I'm sorry! Donald. Why? I was the one who said no to you and not him. Okay? Listen, Ken. You should be mature and be very careful about the way you show your, your annoyance or your anger. And if this nonsense continues, I will not hesitate to tell our parents about it. Yes! Listen. We're still friends. Still family, we're still colleague. But what I said no to is being your wife. So put yourself together and stop all this drama and get yourself a good woman. Do you understand?
You good? Um, I got you some groceries. I know you need it. Oh, um, that's quite thoughtful, but Annie already did that. I mean, the house is packed already. Ah, okay. Um, I'll go drop them in the kitchen. No, no, no. no. You, you don't have to. Um, Annie will do that. Please, I'll yeah. help me. Thank you. Yeah. So you started allowing her to spend the night in your house? Yeah, is that supposed to be a problem? Yeah, but... <laughs> Are you still standing? Oh yeah, I'll oh, sit down and let me get you a drink. <laughs> uh, no, not to worry. Um, I have to be somewhere. I'm running late. Um, take care. Alright, bye. 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 What's going on? You seem to be happy. Have you won a lottery or something? She is more valuable than a lottery, if you ask me. She? Yes. Who is she? Your friend Annie. <laughs> I mean, she, she has this special way of just putting a smile on my face. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm so happy for you, you know. Are you sure about that? Yes, I am. Listen, I, I can't wait to, you know, to see you fall in love. I pray that she, she makes her way into your heart. Amen. <laughs> mm, yeah, I was going to say uh, about my aggression towards uh, Donald. I'm really sorry. I went overboard. That, that video was very active. I shouldn't have. And I apologize. Nah, that's okay. Really, I've forgotten about it. And also, Donald has forgiven you, so it's not a big deal, okay? We've moved on. <laughs> um, Ken, so what's up? Mm. Annie seems to like you a lot. Yeah, I don't know about that, but time will tell. Hey. Sophie. Hi. Hi. Hello, Ken. <laughs> Ken, um, remember you were meant to take me to the market to buy the condiments I need for the soup? Right, right. I'll do, let's do that right away. Let's see. Uh, uh, you're going to the market to shop for something? Uh, yes. Uh, I need to go to the market as well. So, Ken, don't stress yourself. I'll take her and I'll drop her home afterwards, okay? Thanks for coming. It's Bill C on on the beach. You don't seem to be yourself this evening. Did I disrupt your plans with Ken? No, not at all. I just have a lot going on in my head right now. About what? Me? Ken or Steven? Sophie, all of you. All of you, Sophie. I'm here to understand why you chose to push me to Ken. Oh, that's... <laughs> oh, well, at least I have cleared your doubt about me dating him. And secondly, Annie. Ken has developed some feelings for you. And I think that you should be free with him. If he wants to go a hundred miles, I think you should go a thousand miles with him. Whatever you decide to do with Steven or Ken is up to you. But I'll suggest that you weigh your option properly. I don't understand. 
Ani, Ken has a soft spot for you already. Come on. And I think this is the best time for you to play balls with him. If you understand what I mean. Hmm? That's not what I'm thinking about, Sophie. I just want to be sure I'm doing the right thing. Okay. If you say so, just an advice. Welcome home. How are you doing today? You know what? Let's go inside. I want to show you something. I want to tell you something really nice. You know you stopped me with sex lately. Hmm? Let's what, go. Give what, it up. What, what kind of man are you, Steve? What? How can you think of having sex with me? Immediately I'm back from work. Oh, come on, babe. Now I know what you take me for, right? A sex slave. No wonder you insisted on having the key to this house, even when you don't live here with me. Oh, come on, babe. You know I love you. You mean the world to me. You are my everything. That is a oh, lie. Love. That is a lie. You don't love me one bit, and you know it. You don't love me. I, I was just carried away by your deceiving sweet words. And you don't cease to use the opportunity in turning me into a sex slave. Stephen. We haven't we had sex in this house? Yes, everywhere. Oh Is it in the room? Let's go to the On room. the couch? We can in have the it. kitchen? Okay, let's go to the kitchen and have it right now. I'm tired of being a sex slave. Oh, come on. Baby. I'm no, tired of constantly so satisfying your sexual urge. And each time I raise the idea of marriage, mm -hmm. you probably tell me you're not interested in oh, marriage. Oh, would you please stop? What are you talking about this right now? I've told you we can't keep talking about this issue all the time. Let's take our time to decide and be sure of what we really want. Huh? Let's just get out of our time. Okay, I can give you a fast one here, right? Leave me alone! What we want when you constantly have sex with me. It's been six years into this relationship. I am tired of trying to satisfy your sexual urge. I'm tired of it already. Not like you're even getting married to me. Hello? Right Hi. Here, right Wait, now. I'll meet you outside. What? What? I'll meet you up to your house. I'm coming. Where? Where are you going to? Just me. Just me. I'm tired. Wait! What is wrong? Where are you going to? What is this? Steve, what is my bad doing in here? So, that man is the reason for your change of attitude to us. You've been having sex with him and stabbed me in return? Oh, yes. I followed you to his house. I saw you. You know what, honey? You can't live in my house and sleep with another man. What's best is just for you to pack your things and go and stay with him. Go and live with him. Which I've already helped you in packing your bags. Go and have a good time. Okay? Hello, Kenny. Are you at my house? Um, 
please, could you come to Hotel de Excellence, room 201? It's not far from my house. I will explain to you better when you come. Are you coming? Okay, darling. And is that not Ken you just spoke with? Yes. <laughs> you have to be very careful dealing with that guy. Why? I mean, I don't, I'm not comfortable seeing you and Ken together, knowing very well that Sophia is your friend. Tracy, never mind, eh? I'm coming. Let me go and freshen up. He'll get here soon. If he says so. Yeah. Oh, easy. Hello? Okay, you're outside at the passage. I'll meet you right away. Your friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can say that again. Okay, I'll be right back. Ah. Hello, hello. Ken just proposed to Annie. I said Ken proposed to Annie. She said yes, of course. Hello? Hello? Hello, Sophia. Guess what? I just got a ring. Can just propose. And from the look of things, our traditional wine carrying and white wedding will be done in two weeks' time. He said he wants it done immediately. <laughs> I don't think so. He said his mother wants it to happen immediately. See, Sophia, I want you to inform all your friends about the wedding, okay? I'm serious. And one more thing. Please, can you come to Hotel des Excellence? Come to the lounge. We have a lot to talk about, girl. I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you want to shut me out? I don't remember giving you an appointment. Sweetie, look me. It's not sweetie, it's Annie. We need to talk. There is nothing to talk about. I know, but at least just hear me out. No, Stephen. This is way too risky. I'm becoming tense. If you don't live here, I'll be forced to call the hotel security on you. So, leave. Well, you're right. Um, 
Here's the house key. I want you to come back home. I want us to pick up our pieces where we left them. All I was trying to do then was just to find out if you have anything to do with Ken. I thought you would have moved in with him, but you proved me wrong. I love you, Annie. And I'm ready to settle down. I want you to come back, please. Hello? Uh, yeah, please just give me um, some minutes. I want to do a touch of makeup on my face. Okay. How do I handle this? How do I make him understand and accept his recent development? Maybe I will go back and explain everything to him. Yes, I will make our time to see him and resolve this with him. I, I don't want to be seen around here with you, please. I'm scared. I can't. It's not safe for me to be here with you. I'm serious. Please, don't do this. Remember, my wedding is tomorrow. Steve, please. Please, I'm begging you. It's okay. You. It's okay. Uh, don't worry. It's going to be safe. Trust me. You'll be fine. Okay? Steve. Trust me. Everything will be fine. Oh, my God. Did you by any chance find her? No, I wasn't that lucky. I mean, she's not taking my calls. I really hope she's okay. Well, listen, Ken. She's fine. Okay? You don't have to get worried. Hmm? Oh, oh, no. What, what do you mean by that, Sophie? Ken, I don't want to spoil the mood. Okay? Annie is an adult and she can take care of herself. Listen, maybe it's just God wanting us to right our wrongs. I know that I was wrong in the past. I hid my feelings from you. I always wanted to prove people wrong that we were dating. I let my ego turn down your proposal. But now I know better. I really have feelings for you. Sorry, it's a little too late. My heart is for Annie and Annie alone. I need to go and look for my wife now. Uh -oh. Can I at least get a kiss? One kiss just before the vow. So I can at least get you off my mind. Hmm? Sorry, let me take this. Uh, oh. Your wife is in the room in this hotel with her ex having a nice time together. Oh, what ex? What room? What are you talking about? Don't act like a child. She wouldn't let anyone know. 
Hello? What the? What's wrong? I don't know, son. Wait, I need to speak with the manager. Okay, this number. Hello, manager. Uh, there's a situation, okay? Um, my wife, I, I believe someone is holding her against a wheel in one of your rooms in this hotel. I, I, I need to do a thorough search of every single room before I let the police. Yes. All right, I'm on my way to the reception now. Uh, yeah, wait for me. Oh, oh my God. As you already know, I'm the manager of this hotel. I'm working on a room check. Okay. So, you want to search my room? Yes. Why? The lady was reported kidnapped in this hotel. Really? So, I would like to confirm if she is in your room. How many are you in this room? Just me and my girlfriend. Can you, can you open the door? Let's confirm. <laughs> manager, I'm sorry, that wouldn't be possible. I mean, you can't just barge in and disrupt what I'm doing. I'm busy. My woman won't. We're doing this for security reasons, so I would appreciate if we just open that door and let's check. I'm sorry. That won't be possible. Please, you can check all the rooms. I'm just saying. Hey, hey! What is the problem? Didn't you hear him? My friend, open that door and let me get my wife. You all right? Who is he? What the hell are you two holding me around? Just cooperate. Let's check what we want to check. Look, manager, check all the rooms. No one here. I'm just here with my wife. Hey, 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 you want this to get messy, right? You want this to get messy? Hello, just leave me. Let's handle this now ourselves. <laughs> Don't get into that anymore. So I would appreciate you open this door. Let's cooperate. After this, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Um, let's just go down and get, this, um, get the master key. Come
You forgot to press the record button. Well, I realize we can't have a video recording of Anne in this room without me being in it, so... Are you stupid? Are you a fool? Are you an idiot? In fact, you're a babble, that's what you are! What you... Oh gosh! Just a little assignment that I gave to you. You couldn't even carry it out! Are you dumb? Ah! You couldn't stop a woman, someone you dated for six good years from getting married to Ken! You couldn't! Really? Why are you so worked up about all this? No, 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 no. Annie can't. Annie, no, Annie won't. Annie will not marry Ken. No, I will not. Oh. Hey, take it easy. What's the matter with you? Finally, you're my wife. <laughs> Thank God for a successful wedding. Oh, yes, you can see that again. <laughs> mm. Thank God he didn't allow Stephen and Sophia's plan to work out. If only you know what it took me to get out of that room and disappoint them. Now listen, I am not interested in whatever information you have on my wife. Is that clear? No. Never, I repeat, never call this line again. Baby. Babe? Yes, baby. Look, um, whatever happened in the past, before our vows, stays in the past. We're going to move on and be better. Yeah. I love you. I love you too. We are going to be happy together, okay? <laughs> Baby, come here. <laughs> 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 